Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Polk here from Alpha Omega Music Studios in North Reading. Um, wanted to just go over something that I kind of stumbled upon just recently. Uh, that just a combination of things, the the you know signal chain, um, miking techniques, that sort of thing. Um, came across a, a room sound for drums that I really dug. So anyhow, um, what we have is uh, in the hallway here, probably about, I don't know, 20 feet from where the drum kit is, there's a hallway, and we have a, a stereo ribbon mic, um, fairly high, close to the ceiling, and uh, you, you know, you get a nice echoey, kind of trashy sound. And what I've been doing is putting you know, either tracking with the DVX compressors or running it back through the DVX 160Xs or squashing them with um, an 1176 style compressor plug-in. Um, recently, I tried the API 2500 series um, by Waves uh, plug-in and it, I think it sounds fantastic. I really, really was happy with the results. So. I wanted to make a video and share it with any of you who might dig it and find it useful. So without further ado, let's pull up a mix. Um, we have a student band here at the studio called the Omega Band and um, they did uh, some tracking over, what was it, this past weekend and they did the song Superstition, I'm sure you guys all know the tune. Stevie Wonder tune, it's a great tune. Um, so here's the tune. I'll just play a little bit of the beginning. have the rhythm section down. Unfortunately the vocalist was not able to make it to the session, which is fine because we focused all on the rhythm section. Anyhow, um, what I want to do is show you something, like I said, with the room mics and compressing them that I just really like the combination between um, the stereo rhythm mics, um, being in the hallway, you know, using that specific, you know, stereo mic, being in the hallway, and then um, basically what it added to the drum mix uh, or the drum bus after we added these API 2500 series compressors. So check it out. Here's the drums. Let's pull up the um, a drum mix for you. Here, and I'm all in the box right now. I typically track, um, we have a, what I think is a really nice AMEC um, console. I really like it. Uh, it gives us that warm front end before we hit Pro Tools. 44 channel AMEC big. And um, do use a little bit of outboard gear to tape. And then um, a lot of times I'll just mix in the box. Um, I'm probably going to start doing a little bit more of um, bringing it back to the console and mixing it since we do have that Orion 32 plus we can bring 32 back anyhow this is all just in the box right now summed in Pro Tools so again here is the drum bus and let's actually let's take the room mics out of it So here's just the drums, no room mics. Nice, clean, you know, up front, close mic, kind of a drum sound. So I dig that. I think it sounds great. I like that. If you want a really tight, up front, you know, punchy drum sound, that's it. Now what I'd like to do is um, solo just the room mics 
And what I actually want to do first is bypass the compressors that I have. Those are the only plugins I have on the shed. I just kind of started throwing a mix together. So here's the room mics um, alone. I don't want to mess my mix up, so I'm just going to turn my monitors up here. Okay, so there's the room mics. Now, here's the room mics compressed. So you can hear it's bringing out a lot more of the, the ambience because, you know, I'm sure for a lot of you uh, people watching, you know, you, I'm sure you get the basic idea that obviously what a compressor does is it's um, limiting your dynamic range. So uh, for, for those of you that might not be as familiar with compression or limiting, what you're doing is for, for uh, loud signals over a particular threshold of which you pick, meaning, you know, a threshold is how loud do you have to get before the compressor starts to actually kick in and work? So, you know, if you hit a snare drum, you know, this loud, or if you hit a snare drum this loud, you know, a little louder, you set that threshold, okay, if it, if it gets, you know, above uh, a certain, um, you know, volume, the, you know, that's where it, the, you would set the, uh, that's what setting the threshold does, is picking how loud do you have to get. So anyhow, um, what I did was, oh, so sorry, getting back to the compressor. <laughs> so the uh, so compressor says, okay, anything over that volume, we're going to squash it. And then obviously the, the ratio, what that does is it says, okay, how much are you going to squash it? Okay, without getting in all the technicalities, how much do you actually want to, compress the signal, you know, at a two to one ratio or six to one ratio or limiting it. Um, and again, we'll spare you the details on that, but basically how much compression after you pass that threshold. So um, that's just a basic little explanation of compression for those of you that may or may not know. Now, of course, we're getting some noise because we get these compressors kicking in the high gear here. All right. So, here's the drums. Let's solo the drums yet again. And let's take the room mics out of it. Nice and tight, right? Let's put the room mics in it. And look at where the faders, you can see that for the room mics, I have the faders relatively low. So with the room mics, without, back in, and of course if we wanted to, we could add more. You've been hearing that particular fill right there. Those toms, man, I gotta say, they do sound pretty big. Now this is a little bit, a uh, little bit bigger sound or more reverb type sounding than I would probably want to go with for a tune like this, but and with the room mics gone, same fill. Woo! Big difference. Now what I want to do is I want to solo just the room mics and okay, I don't know why that popped up. Um, let's take the, A, the, the uh, API 2500s off. Here's 
with the room mic sounded dry before I put the API compressors on. Okay, with the compressors. Pretty, uh, pretty big difference there. Pretty distinct. So I actually set the compressors here. I love these API 2500s. I, I haven't used them a ton, honestly. And um, now that I checked it out, um, I'm sure I'm going to be using this a lot more. API, obviously, you know, the real hardware. I mean, that, that company makes some of the best um, equipment out there. You know, consoles and outboard gear. And Waves did a from what I can tell, pretty good job modeling this. So we're at limiting. So we're literally at the highest ratio possible. I did a very quick release and a very quick attack, as quick as I could go. Um, when every time you'd hit a tom or a snare or a kick, I wanted this compressor to kick in instantly and then release instantly so that all the loud notes would be squashed down to nothing. And then as soon as the, dr you know, the, 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 the peak hit of that drum um, had passed, the compressor with a quick release would immediately shut off and allow all the ambience to kind of pass through. So that was kind of uh, my thought behind it. I'm sure this is nothing new in the books. <laughs> People have been doing this kind of stuff. I'm sure for a while, but I just kind of, this is stuff I kind of stumbled upon myself, just experimenting. And I always recommend, you know, the, the best, best way to learn how to do something is you get to, uh, you have to just get in, get your hands dirty and do it. So anyhow, hope you guys dug this, but this is again, um, having a little bit of fun here with API 2500, uh, waves. Uh, you know, from Waves compressors on the room mics of a drum kit. And let's see. Yeah, we had brought those drums. So now let's hear them with the rooms and in the mix again. Oh, let's back it up. Let's back it up. Have it hope you guys dug it um api 2500s on a stereo ribbon mic and uh in a hallway <laughs> who would have known um actually uh blackbird studio i heard they obviously they have a ridiculously awesome facility and but they have i guess there's a, a big hallway right outside i think of their d room if i'm correct um and I guess they they you know they they set up room mics in in the hallway there, so that that kind of gave me the idea of watching a lot of their YouTube videos. And um, for what we have here, man, this 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 worked out really well. So anyhow, hopefully that gives you some tips, tricks, and ideas, and um, you know gives you some uh, fuel and creativity to be able to try out some of uh, your own. Um, you know, create your own techniques and make your own unique sounds. All right. So again, Ken Polk at Alpha Omega Music Studios. You guys have a good one. Take care.